What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the stream and we have hit the month of September and guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, we are still in this thing, uh, kind of slipping in the American League Central race. Uh, the Guardians have started to pull away quite a bit. We are still nine games out, elimination number at 15, but we'll see if we can hang around there as long as possible. The big news is that we are in the third wild card spot. We are competing currently right now with the New York Yankees, the Detroit Tigers, and also trying to hold off the Houston Astros who are nipping at our heels. Uh, so on top of that, we've continued to have some pretty rough injury news. So after we lost Drew Thorpe and Michael Waka, we lost Robbie Snelling. So our pitching rotation has been hit pretty hard. Um, but that's okay. We are trying to fight back as good as we possibly can. And hey, we're hanging in it right now. Uh, a couple of guys have stepped up for us. Honestly, Luis Ortiz has really stepped up since the Snelling injury. Allard's really been stepping up since the Waka and Thorpe injuries as well. So, uh, you know, we brought these guys in for depth and they've really been delivering for us. So I'm pretty excited for that. So what I'm gonna be doing is I have set up my custom game entry conditions and I'm going to be simulating through the month of September, taking you through some of the results. And if we get uh, thrown into any of these games, I'm gonna hop in and see what we can do to try to get us into the playoffs in our third season. Let's get to it. And here we're gonna get a scenario immediately. So we are in the bottom of the eighth inning with one out. Got our setup man, Lou Trevino on the mound, runner on second base. Let's go lock it down, baby. All right, so Alex Verdugo at the plate. Really good season for him, 784 OPS. But we're ready with the big dog, Trevino. Oh, Kowser. No, slow reaction, that's gonna hurt. That is going to tie the game. He's gonna try to go to third, but we're gonna nail him. Oh, I haven't played in a few days, so I am not sharp on the sticks, and that was a bad sinker first pitch. And, oh, well, we got a tie game now, baby. Oh, bad sinker again. That ball is off the wall. Man, these new pitching sliders I've been working with are definitely a lot more realistic, and man, they get me. Oh man, this dude is just not swinging at all. Mislocation, but Ellie De La Cruz all over it with that cannon for an arm. Ah, oh, all right, gonna have to try to win this one. Even score, gonna have to win this one late. Okay, we return to simulating and have gotten ourselves in a pretty nice position. Top nine, big speed on the base pass, and the first draft pick of this series, Barry Ryan at the dish. Let's see if we can have a little bit better of ABs than his MLB debut. Ryan got off to a pretty hot start and has since really cooled off. Oh, that is three pitches, three strikes, you're out. It's rough. What the freak, bro? He throws, I was out in front of everything. He just throws so damn slow. Oh boy, Quinn Priester's gotten himself in trouble here. Gonna have to try to get out of this. Normally I trust my pitching, but apparently I'm not looking very good right now. Well, good start there. All right. Get him. Oh, you, you're kidding me. You're, you're actually kidding me. <laughs> wow. I don't even know how he hit that. Oh, that is not a good first scenario. Hopefully that's not an omen for the rest of the episode. All right, second day. We've got <laughs> another game with Lou Trevino on the mound. Let's see if we can have a better result than last time. Sterling Thompson. Try to do something this time. I don't know what it is about that sinker. I cannot control it. So many lefties I've had to face in these two games. And the only righty, of course, somehow finds a way to miraculously hit a, a slider off the plate into right field for the game-winning single. That was great. All right, at least we got one out here. Out in front of that. Change up again. There it is. All right, that's pitching a lot better with Trevino. On the hands, heavy fastball, got him! 
that was a lot better execution than the last time out. And we get the victory in that one. All right, good. A much better result than the first one. Okay, got through a few games this time without any situations, but tough situation here for Jake Eater. Gonna face a righty, 1-1 one, one game, one out. Whew. Let's go get it. See if we can get a quick double play ball. That'd be great. Ooh, what a change up. That is beautiful. Nice. Where'd that miss, Blue? Oh, come on. I feel like I'm getting screwed by the game right now because that Rockies game had just a BS slider. That guy just stuck his bat out and then two straight bad calls. And then this pitch, let's see where this location was. That's just, what am I supposed to do with that? Like that's straight location. Three outs. Okay, hopefully the sticks can do something. Nope, they weren't able to do anything. And that's going to be an unfortunate loss. Damn, that's annoying. All right, another pitching scenario here. Got two runners on. This time Jared Schuster in the game. <laughs> that didn't go well for us in opening day this year, but hopefully it'll go better this time. All right, at least he's got a lefty-lefty matchup. So hopefully we take advantage of that. I do remember that... Schuster's control is a little sketchy, so don't love that. Good spot there, though. Um, I think it was his slider that gave me problems. But that was pretty good. Let's see if we can get one more. There it is. All right, all right. That's good. Let's work out of this. There it is. Good. Working out of that tight jam. Let's see if we can get the dub now. Hey, and we got it. Okay, we're, we're 500 in the scenario so far. I guess that's not terrible. All right, so we're going to be at the end of the double-A season right here. Let us do a reset to show you how we've done since we started the episode. Looks like we're mostly 500. Uh, you know, I wish we were doing a little bit better. Let's check out the standings real quick. Elimination number down to five. The Guardians have really started to wholeheartedly pull away in the central. But we're still sitting pretty in the third wild card spot right now at 77 and 72, just a half game ahead of the Tigers. We've started to create some separation with the eight Yankees and Astros, though, so that is nice. Okay, let's go check out how some, double, some of the double A prospects did. So, not many guys down here I want to talk about, but I do want to focus in again on Ryan Burroughs. Another great season out of him. Uh, not an outstanding OPS, especially for a 21-year-old or in AA, but I'll look into possibly giving him a potential bump. Uh, it's a couple of good seasons from him. He might have earned a one potential bump, but let's see what his potential is before I do that. Um, after that, another guy I want to take a look at is Douglas White. Honestly, pretty excited for some of the gains he was able to do against right-handed pitching. Um, knew he was able to hit lefties pretty well. Um, but I, I really like these. He's got a plus five against right, contact righties and a plus four power righties. Starting to show that he can hit the strong side of the platoon a little bit. We already know he gives us great defense and athleticism. Final numbers aren't outstanding, but his development has continued to be good. So we'll see him in AAA next year and you know we'll see what he can do there. On the pitching front, we're going to start talking about Doug Gonzalez. Plus eight to those hits per nine. That is a huge development for this kid. I was really worried about that, and he was able to have himself a really strong season, especially in that department. So that is a big development point. Alexis Ruiz also had a pretty good year, plus four to the Ks per nine, which is one of his biggest boosts. So that's pretty nice. It still lags really far behind where I'd like it to be. But, you know, I got to be honest, he looks like a solid pitcher. So our first round pick from last year might not be too bad after all. Lou Zambrano was one of our, I think he was one of our competitive balance round picks or something like that. Not a great year, but did get some pretty good develop developments from him. Only 19 years old, so something to monitor going forward. Oh boy, another pitching scenario here. This one looks pretty rough. We're here in the 10th inning. Two outs though, so we'll see if one of our better relievers to this point of the franchise can get us out of this one. 
This is actually my first time being able to pitch with Steven Wilson. I haven't used him in any of the games that I have played. Um, see what he can do. Good first pitch. Oh, good location on that. Let's double up on that. Okay, he's on that. Now I think we can go back inside on the hands on the fastball. Ooh, go elevate that a little bit more. Got it. There we go. All right, I think we're going to get a hitting scenario here. Let's win this one. Walk it off. All right, we did get that with two outs. We've got Josh Bell at the plate, Esteri Ruiz at second base. This is basically a guaranteed win if we can get a single here. So what do you say, Josh? Do it for us. Oh, boy. Check swing, go through. This is not good. Oh, held up on that. Okay, I'll take it somehow, some way. Big old Colson Montgomery can get it for us now. Give me a line drive, kid. Nope, that's not gonna work. Solid contact, but sinker on the hands is a good pitch. Not gonna get it done. Hey, didn't get a scenario, but I see Camposano hit a two run walk off bomb. And I'll take that victory. Nice going, Luis. Big opportunity here after blowing a four run lead. We now have runners on first and second with one out. Esteri Ruiz at the plate. Now let's take a look at this scenario. I might look to pinch hit in this situation. Looks like there's a righty on the mound. Um, I think I might pinch hit. Let's see. Um, oh, he does have 99 clutch. So that's something to take into account. Austin Meadows is sitting there. You know what, screw it. I'll go Esteri Ruiz. With that 99 clutch. Let's see. It's gonna be hard to double him up, so that's a positive. A lot of speed on the bases. Oh, that's gonna be. I'm gonna send the speed. Hey, there it is. Keep the line moving. Love the speed. Ruiz coming in the clutch with that 99 clutch. Glad I kept stuck with him. Good rep. Okay. Um, I'm going to send Ruiz in motion right now. Not even going to bother swinging at that. Double play no longer an option. <laughs> Ruiz is just so damn fast. Steal number 29 on the year. a boy. All right, let's see if we can do Rodriguez. Elevate something. Two runs if a single gets through. Oh, that'll get it done. Don't think that's going to be able to score, though. A little too hard. Oh, bad throw. Probably could have scored, but hey, let's just keep the line moving. So we got a pitching change, but I just want to point out the bottom of the ticker there real quick. Iriarte, 10 Ks against the Cubs today. So seems like the Padres got a pretty good one in the deal we sent them last year. Merrill had a big season, big game already. Two for four with a dinger. And that's going to find the hole. Can he beat it out the first? Yes, he can. Keep the line moving, baby. All right. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be. Yeah. Hard hit ball just right at him, unfortunately. Two outs now. Ah, had to go get that. Not able to get anything on more than a weak contact. But hey, we got three runs there. That should be enough to win this one. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, man. Guardians tried to come back, got the, to score two runs there, but hey, a victory is a victory. I'll take it. Another scenario here. We got Miles Straw on second base, JP Crawford at the dish. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, and our closer on the bump. Let's get it. Not messing around. JP Crawford been one of the best players in this franchise, but we're going to go right at him. Not afraid of him. Stay elevated. Okay. Good setup for the change up here. Or I don't have a change up, but I'll try to sink her here. Okay. Who's on deck? I don't know. Ooh, who's it? J-Ram. Oh. J-Ram's not a guy you want to mess with, so I guess you want to go get JP here. Soft contact there. All right. Uh, let's go slurve underneath the zone. Okay. All right. Fastball, low outside corner. Oh, wrong pitch. 
All right. Fastball low outside corner. All over it, Ruiz. That a boy. And that's a victory. Taking down the AL Central leading Guardians. Big victory. Uh, probably not going to help us chasing them down in the uh, Central, but will definitely help us in the wild card. Man, I just noticed that we swept the Guardians there. That's nice. Puts us six games out. What's our magic number looking at right now? So magic number's still at four. Um, going to be rough for us to close that gap, but hey, sweep's pretty big in that moment. Oh, oh boy, this is a tough situation. Bottom of the ninth, nobody out. Runners on first and second, only holding on to a slim two to three to one lead. Jose Siri at the dish. Paul Seawald in the game. This is what moments are made for, baby. Big time players make big time plays. Let's go, Seawald. Okay. It's going to be difficult to get a double play ball in this situation because Siri runs really well. But. Oh. Higher? Good. Oh. Love that. Love that. Good out number one, big out number one. Lock in. Nope. Man, he got pinched on that 1-0 pitch. That sucks. Got him out in front of the fastball. This is wish I, where I really wish I had a change up here. Best thing I do is try to... Oh, and I hung it. Ellie, can you get him? No! Oh, I hung it, and that's going to be a loss. That is... Ugh. Seawald not having a changeup. Tough situation facing a lefty there. Just, man, not, <laughs> not a good situation blowing that lead there. Computer didn't do well on Sim, and then I screwed it up in the end. That's great. Wonderful. Love that. Seawald out there again. Another high leverage situation. A Rose ran on first base. Wilson Williams at the dish. This time we do have one out, so hopefully we can just get a nice easy double play. Man, this stuff is stressing me out. Great location. Just absolutely frozen. Very nice. Very nice. Slurve. Game. Baby, let's go. Good bounce back by Seawald after a rough outing last time out. Whew. All right, another victory. That's good. Okay, now we're at the end of the Triple A season. Let us do a quick recap of how we are sitting so far. Still six games out from the AL Central. Guardians have gotten our number down to two. Again, didn't really think we were going to do anything there. Now sitting actually in the second wild card position, only three games behind the Angels for that first one. So let's keep pushing for that and see what we can possibly get out of this. Checking out the AAA prospects, Samuel Zavala, one of our top prospects coming into this franchise. The power number is not good at AAA, but the average and the on-base percentage are. So yeah, it looks like he's really struggling against left-handed pitching power-wise. I think that is movable. Um, overall, still some pretty good developments there. Wilfred Varis had another pretty solid season at AAA. I will be looking to can possibly give him a potential bump, although I think he's already like 75 or 76, so I don't know if he's really worthy of one, but a good season nonetheless. Alan Rose, one of our draft picks from last year, he had a very good taste of his first taste of professional ball, so that's pretty nice. I like to see that. We did get Ty Pete into AAA. Could be better. The ISO is about 170, but I expect more out of a guy who is really power over contact. That being said, love the boot bumps he's able to get against righties. Still needs to work against lefties. On the pitching front, only a couple guys to talk about. Noah Schultz, uh, good strikeout numbers, and the ERA is okay, but the whip is much higher than I'd like. Uh, I got the walk numbers down to about four and a half per nine, so that's not terrible, but needs to get better. The hit numbers, not as good as I'd hope, especially because he's already a little bit advanced there. So, got to be 23 next year. Um, guess I'd say I'm starting to get a little bit worried about him. Switching over to our relievers, Grant Taylor, one of our B potential guys, already 23. Had to push him into AAA, and the results were not good. Um, yeah, I don't know how much longer he's going to be around. 
Uh, Seth Keener, on the other hand, though, first season on the 40-man roster, pretty good year at AAA. No, you know, no open bullpen spots to get him into the majors, though, yet. But he'll definitely be on the radar for next year uh, with his potential and some of the numbers he's been able to put up. Here we go again with Seawall, another tough situation. Got Vlad Guerrero Jr. at the dish. Two-run lead, but we do have two outs. Let's see what he can do. Big Vladdy. Not quite sure how he ended up in Boston, but he's here. Um, okay. Let's see. Just got to get one out here. Let's make some tough pitches. Well, that is not a bad location, actually, for that. Ooh, off the plate. Good. So oh, that is beautiful where he just put that. A little off the plate here. Ooh. Two back-to-back -back good slurves. Let's go on the hands. Got him. Ooh, I thought that was perfect. All right, we're not going to give in to him. Back to the slurve. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to put this fastball in the tunnel. See what happens. Good location. Ooh, man. Flatty's being tough out there. And off the plate. Man! That was a tough AB. Now the tying runs at second base. And on the hands. A little too in on the hands, and somehow he swung at a pitch that almost hit him. I don't care, man. I'll take it. It's another victory for us as we try to clinch a wild card spot. My brother in Christ, how do we keep getting into these terrible situations? Runners on first and third, two outs. Steven Wilson in the game. Oh, gonna have to dance out of danger once again. Good location. Let's go back out there again. You're kidding me with the way that he flipped that ball. What was that animation? You've got to be joking me. Just a lazy flip. Oh, if I don't win this game now, I'm going to be pissed. Oh. Able to get out of that inning, but my God, we better win this game. That was total bull. All right, we did pick up the run. It's Seawald again <laughs> in a high situ high leverage situation. Oh, boy. And all right, well, hey, we'll strike out. I'll take that, too. How's he tired? He's had only six pitches. Oh, he's probably been getting overused. Hey, pop fly, though. That'll be out number two. All right. No. Oh, spit on a couple of good slurves. Oh, boy. All right. Let's get him out of here. Seawall catching the outside corner. And we've got another victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to welcome back Drew Thorpe and Robbie Snelling. They are finally off the injured list and ready to return to the rotation. Let's check out where some of these guys are going to go because some of them perform pretty well. I'm not quite sure how to shake this out. So this is how we're going to shake it out. Um, I don't even know if these guys are going to be able to make starts because I don't think we have enough games left, but we'll see. Thorpe will be taking over the three spot. Snelling will be in the four. Kobe Allard will move back to the bullpen. Really, really pleased with him on the full season. Um, I'd like to bring him back next year. He's continued to be a pretty good piece for us. And then Luis Ortiz has actually been really good. Strikeout numbers haven't been great in the rotation, but overall, I'd say he's pitched pretty well. So he's going to stay up here in the majors. Uh, did send back down Quinn Priester. Don't think we're going to re-sign him. Probably going to non-tender him. It's not not good enough. Um, wish I had gotten a chance to pitch with him just to see what he felt like, but, you know, not great. And then we also sent back down Sean Burke, who was just a September call-up, so I'm not really worried about that. Not great in seven and two-thirds. And with a huge 10 to nothing victory over the Kansas City Royals, checking out the box score here, you see really good offensive output, outstanding start by Griffin Canning. We actually just clinched a playoff spot. I was unaware that we were on the cusp of clinching one. I thought we needed two more victories to do it, but hey, nonetheless, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, 
we are going to be making the playoffs as a wild card team in our third season. Let's go, baby. All right, let's see if we could possibly catch the Angels down the stretch here. Two more games to go. All right, so we are a game behind the Angels for that first wild card spot. They are going to be taking on the Houston Astros, and they are going to be taking an L. Okay, so Nick Lodolo got hurt. Let's see if we won that game, though. We did. Okay, we should be dead even in the wild card spot right now, trying to play for that wild card spot. Also, the Twins and the Astros are fighting for that last wild card spot. Ooh, we got drama, drama on the last day of the regular season. And just to add to the drama, I didn't even realize, but the Astros are playing the Angels. So let's simulate this game real fast. The Angels did win. Okay, I don't know how the tiebreaker is going to pan out for that first wild card slot. But let's go see what we do real quick and see if we can win it. Let's see, can we win the game? Jose Rodriguez, okay, hurt. I don't even know what just happened. What's the box score say? Oh, Kansas City at 55 and 107. Probably the worst team in all of baseball is gonna steal our hopes and dreams to try to be the number one wildcard team. Ah, uh, see who started. Michael Waka, after such an outstanding year, poor start in a big moment. Ah, that's rough. And let's check out the Twins to see if they can clinch that third wild card spot. And they blow out Seattle. So it is going to be the Twins taking over that third wild card spot. Spot. Uh, the AL Central surprisingly sending three teams to the American League playoffs. Wow, that's impressive. So let's go check out how some of the guys did this season. So some final numbers on the year. Colton Kowser, pretty good year. He was kind of tailing off at the very end of the year. Uh, September was not kind to him, but overall a solid slash line for him. Let's see what he finished with with war. Negative 0.6 war. I don't understand that. Is it just because he's not like a great defender? I don't know. But anyways, moving on to Jose Rodriguez. He had a 3.4 war. I'm giving this dude a bump of, for into the B potential. Something like an 81 or an 82, because like... He's been outstanding for us. He's only 24 years old. He's continued to put up high war seasons and the game just won't reward him. That's ridiculous. Jackson Merrill, outstanding. The stud that we traded for, what was his final war? 3.9. So if we get that defense up, he can get even higher. BJ Murray has earned himself a bump in war because that is outstanding on the slash line and pretty good with the war as well because you know he was playing DH all year. So really good for him to even get any innings in the field. Not a single inning in the field, and he still racked up a 2.2 war. Very impressive. Happy to see that. Ellie De La Cruz played pretty well once he got over to us. He did improve a little bit. Obviously, that slash line is going to need to be better in near futures, but I am going to probably try to look to extend him this offseason as he had a career war, career year in the war department. Barry Ryan. Did hit a little bit of a rookie wall um, in early September, late August, but was able to get hot again down the tail, tail stretch of September, finished with a .9 war. Josh Bell, not a good season. I might have to consider benching him for the playoffs just because of how poorly he played. Maybe I put Austin Meadows at DH and put BJ Murray at first base. I don't know, I have to kind of shake that out. Really proud of Colson Montgomery. I did officially move him to third base because with Ellie coming around, he's definitely not going to be our shortstop of the future, so I'd like him as a third baseman. Um, he was hitting down near the Mendoza line with his average. The slugging was like 370, whatever, uh, before we sent him down. He got his swing back at AAA and finished with a pretty good slash line. War still negative. That's because his fielding numbers weren't great, although he did have 10 errors when I sent him down to AAA, and he only picked up one error the rest of the season. So overall, pretty good growth for him this year. So excited about that. Camposano got hot down the tail end of the season, so that's pretty good. Hopefully he can carry that over to the playoffs. Uh, Estre Ruiz, actually not a bad season for him. I know he's not going to take walks, so if he's hitting 250 with the 400 slugging and swiping 31 bags, that's not bad. Uh, the war is still a negative 0.5. Not quite sure how that's calculated because I figured that would be least positive, but not bad. Piguero, you know, I give him some credit for the power numbers. Uh, war was a negative 0.1. 
I don't know. His wars haven't been good with us, so I, I don't know if I want to consider non-tendering him. We'll see what some of the options I have behind him are. And then Pablo Aliendo, I don't know. We need some catching in the future after trading away uh, Carroll. Checking out the pitching rotations. Lodolo's ERA and whip don't look great, but his FIP is outstanding, and so do the uh, advanced numbers. So I'm pretty excited about this acquisition, and he might do well for us in the playoffs. Michael Walker was just a dude this year uh 2.25 era which is a career high uh whip of 1.01 which is a career high uh war of 4.7 which is a career high by a large margin uh just i I can't say enough about this guy i might have to give him a potential bump i know it's not gonna matter at all for the game and he's just gonna get torpedoed by regression next year but like holy crap he was outstanding drew thorpe another solid season in the majors um wish the advanced numbers looked a little bit better but you know i guess i can't argue with the final result being a four era still bringing him along hopefully he can become you know what we thought he was going to be at the beginning of the franchise robbie snelling pretty good year did miss some starts with uh, some injuries. Like to see some more Ks per nine and less walks per nine, but not too bad. Really glad we started him in the AAA uh, for this year because I think that was giving him some good boosts early on. And then Griffin Canning actually was a pretty good starter for us. Check out the FIP and the component ERA. Really good for us. So this turned out to be a pretty good signing. Look at the bullpen. Jake Cousins continues to be a dude in the bullpen. Kobe Allard, we talked about. Steven Wilson, again, another great season. He's probably due for another potential bump because he had another outstanding year. Davey Garcia might be due for another potential bump as well. Um, neither of these guys cracking in the 80s, but like I think if they're 77s, they're worthy to be a 78 at least. I mean, Wilson's been outstanding in his career. I don't know why the game still won't give him bumps. Luis Ortiz is really good filling in um, as a starter. Um, he'll, he'll make it tough if he wants to figure out who we want to put into our bullpen for the playoffs. Uh, Jake Eater, he bounced back in AAA and then looked really good down the stretch as well. Lou Trevino, pretty good season from him. Jared Schuster was outstanding again. And Paul Seawald really, <laughs> really used him a lot during the month of September. So pretty good year out of him as well. Congratulations, the White Sox have finished the season 87 and 75 and made the postseason. We will be taking on the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim in the wild card. Uh, let's go shake out the roster and I'll show you some of the decisions that I made. So I did send down, well, they did call back up Robbie Snelling. I will send him down. Uh, just because he's inexperienced, I want some of the other guys um, that are on the roster. It looks like they might have sent down Jake Cousins, so I'll bring him back up for sure. Uh, and then for the hitters, I sent down Otto Lopez, and they brought up Brian De La Cruz, who hasn't played a game in the majors in like three seasons, so that's cool. Uh, looks like they sent down... I can't tell who they sent down here. So I have to Austin Meadows. So I will call back up Austin Meadows. But pitching rotation is going to look like this. Uh, Waka has absolutely earned a start in the wildcard game along with Griffin Canning. Uh, and then if we get to a third game, Nick Lodolo will be in that one. Um, don't think I'm going to be making many changes in the lineup. I think we're going to rock with what we got here. So uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to be playing this game here with Michael Walker in the next episode. So in the meantime, between time, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm gone. Deuces.